Hey, this is Charles with Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Today I'm going to show you how to find top dead center of the compression stroke on your sport four stroke ATV. If you don't already know, top dead center or TDC refers to when the piston reaches its highest point inside the cylinder. And this happens twice during the four stroke cycle. You have TDC compression and TDC exhaust. So if you're at TDC on the exhaust stroke, you're gonna have valve overlap, which means both the intake and exhaust valves are still hanging open and you can't make any measurements from that point. So you need to find top dead center of the compression stroke. And what that means is the intake and exhaust valves are gonna be closed all the way you can do your valve clearance check. You can also do your top end rebuild. Now, an easy way to find that is to remove your valve cover and you'll rotate the engine over in its normal direction of rotation. And you can find that in your service manual, but general rule of thumb, left side of the engine, you turn the engine over counterclockwise, right side of the engine, you rotate it clockwise. Now, when you're rotating this engine, you watch the intake valve open, close, and then keep rotating the crankshaft until its timing mark lines up. Once it does, that's top dead center of the compression stroke. And you can verify that by looking at the timing marks on your camshaft or camshafts. Now, once you've done that, you can get in there and make any adjustments or whatever you need to do. And we're gonna show you how to do that on a sport four stroke ATV for both single and dual overhead cams. To do this job, we have some common hand tools, and if you're doing a valve adjustment, you wanna have some feeler gauges and a digital caliper. We also have rags, safety glasses, some rubber gloves, a flashlight, and while you're in there, you wanna inspect everything, make sure you don't have any problems. So it's a good idea to have a valve cover gasket, some timing plug O-rings, and this spark plug. The first thing we need to do is remove our seat, our gas tank covers, the gas tank and that way we can gain access to our valve cover. Now keep in mind anytime you check your valves you want to make sure that the engine is at room temperature. Next we'll clean off the valve cover and all the areas around it and that way we don't drop any dirt down into the engine while we're working on it. Next we'll remove our spark plug cap and we're going to take some compressed air and blow any dirt away from that spark plug. Typically, you're gonna have a vent hose on top of your valve cover, so you wanna disconnect that. Once you've done that, you can remove your spark plug. And then we can remove both of these bolts on top of the valve cover. And that's just a five millimeter T-handle we're using, Allen T-handle. And then we'll remove this valve cover. With our valve cover removed, we can now get the engine at top dead center compression. To do that, we're gonna remove the two timing covers from the left side of the engine. We'll rotate the engine counterclockwise until it is at top dead center. And how you'll know it is, is there's a timing mark on the flywheel and the flywheel cover that need to line up. Some machines have two marks on the flywheel, one labeled F and one labeled T. If that's the case with your machine, you always want to use the T mark. You also want to make sure that two of the dots on the cams are level with the cylinder head and are facing as far as possible from each other. And there's going to be two more dots that are going to be facing up. If the cam sprocket marks don't line up when the flywheel marks do, then rotate the engine 360 degrees and verify that all the timing marks do line up and that the cam lobes are facing away from each other. Now that we've shown you how to find top dead center compression on a dual overhead camshaft on our YFZ450R, we're gonna show you how to do it on this TRX450ER. This is a single overhead camshaft and it is a little bit different. We've gone ahead and removed our gas tank, our timing covers, as well as our valve cover. And don't forget, you always wanna remove that spark plug before you rotate the engine over. Now what we're gonna do, since this side, we rotate the engine over from the right side of the engine, we're gonna rotate it clockwise. We're using an eight millimeter Allen socket. I'm just rotating this over. We can see 
our exhaust valves are going down. Keep rotating, they close. Now this cam is going to start pushing on our intake valves straight down on them. Now the lobes are off the intake valve, so I need to watch and look at our timing mark. We're going to have a firing mark again. Don't use that one. Wait until you have the T mark and then you can keep rotating the crankshaft till that T mark lines up with the indicator and then you're on top dead center on the compression stroke. And you can see on our camshaft, we have a line on it and we'll match that up with the arrow on the cam tower. And there's actually two of these marks, one on each side. The second one's kind of hard to see, it's behind the frame, but just make sure both of these marks are lined up. After these marks are lined up, you can check your valve clearance, or if you're doing the top end rebuild, you can start with disassembly. That is how you find top dead center of the compression stroke. If you need any valve cover gaskets or top end rebuild kits, we have those available on our website and a lot of different options. So be sure to check that out. We offer free shipping on orders over $75. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful content. Thanks for watching.